Canoe slalom was my sport and it was how I won my Olympic medal, but that was a long time ago now. So to help me give you an insight into what it takes to be a canoe slalom athlete, I went down to the Lee Valley Whitewater Centre to meet with Olympic champion Joe Clark and one of our top tips for Tokyo, Mallory Franklin. I started by asking Joe whether things were getting back to normal after his victory in Rio. Uh, in some ways the dust has settled, so I'm back into training, full-time training. Uh, eyes are focused on uh, Tokyo now, so kind of leaving that behind me, the success of Rio, but then there's the odd occasion where it kind of gets brought back and the dust kind of gets unsettled a little bit you, and you're made to be a bit of a celebrity again. So it's quite nice to have that little flashback, but kind of eyes all focused on Tokyo now and looking forward to the next four years. Mallory, you're one of the top tips for Tokyo because of the introduction of the women's C1 canoe category. How important is that for the sport? Uh, I think it's, it's amazing to have it involved and to be able to get that equality across the sport um, and just to have the access for the girls to get more medals and more chances of that, um, especially for me, I guess, in the position I'm in, but it's just great for the sport. Canoe slalom is simply a time trial on whitewater with gates that paddlers have to successfully go through. That's the slalom bit. What can confuse people though is the difference between the two gate types. You have green gates and paddlers go through these with the flow of the water. These are called downstream gates. Then you have red gates which are called upstream gates and paddlers have to turn and paddle through these against the flow of the water. Touch a gate and it's a two second penalty. Miss a gate and you get 50 seconds, which is pretty much game over. And that's about it. Now, Joe and Mallory may look like they're in the same type of boat, but all is not the same if you lift the spray deck. Joe is in a kayak, and as you can see, he's sitting down with his legs braced out in front of him. Mallory, on the other hand, is in a canoe, and she's kneeling with her legs strapped down. Rather you than me, Mallory. Both boat types face the same challenges on the water, and one of the biggest obstacles are what we call stoppers. These are huge waves that curl over and basically create a wall of water that can stop a boat in its tracks. It's vital to have a lot of speed when you're encountering a stopper and to float over it if you can, rather than trying to use brute force to punch through it. It's not all turmoil out on the course though. Red gates are mostly placed in pockets of calm water. These are known as eddies. The eddy provides very brief respite from the constant pounding of the water but in no time at all, you have to break back out into the main flow and continue your run. And this is what it looks like when you put it all together. So there you have it, canoe slalom. It's all about keeping your nerve in the most difficult conditions. <laughs>